Hello everybody and welcome to Creativity Time. My name is Tatiana, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I blog at stamping.tatianacreative.com.au. Please do join me and say hi when you do. Uh, this is my weekly creative inspiration live video on Facebook. You know that you're watching live if you see the red live right there otherwise you are watching the recording but still do say hi and I do look at every comment and reply um, if you're watching on YouTube I do upload these later on it to YouTube please let me know if you have any questions and would like some answers it is kind of overcast here today it's the yeah, I have decided to keep my kids home so we've we're doing some work in various corners and um, so if you hear background noise, sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. And let's get stamping. I have decided to do a rainbow poppy card today because I felt like some color in the gray sky is not doing it for me today. So let's head to the craft desk and get stamping. And before I get with the card, I also wanted to, so Monday night series is a fun fold card and one of my customers and loyal viewers has sent me this beautiful card. It's her favorite fun fold. So I just wanted to show that. This is from Megan. Thank you very much, Megan. I really enjoyed getting this in the mail yesterday and it's a bit of a triangular stand up kind of card, which is hard to show when you're filming from top but it's also got this window sheet so the card if we see it side on there you can see that you can look through and I honestly this is the perfect card for this weather at the moment too and she has added something shiny on top of the gum boots I'm not sure if that's showing through but it's just adorable to have that kind of the gum boots looking all shiny and what's really nice is that you've got space on the back to write the card now Megan sent me a letter to go with this and she said that um, it's her favorite fun called a fold card and it's called a window sheet tent fold card and it was cased from Rosie Ward uh, from Stamper Delight. So there we go. Good morning Megan. I was just reading out where you got the inspiration for this beautiful card. So thank you so much for sending that to me. I really loved opening that in the mail and I may have bought the stamp the uh, umbrella bundle last night maybe possibly definitely yes so you definitely inspired me and that beautiful DSP this wonderful designer series paper so that is pre printed anyway enough chit chatter as promised rainbow poppies because I needed some brightening I also haven't had my tea yet, so excuse me. <laughs> I'm just going to. Ah, milk. Sweetheart, I've got a jug of milk over there. Could you bring it, please? By the kettle. Okay. Morning, Vicky. I felt like I needed some rainbow in my life today. So I've picked out a pastel rainbow theme. I've got Calypso Coral, Brushing Bride, uh, Petal Pink, So Saffron by the kettle that jug right in front of you the the little creamer can you see the thing that's standing next to the kettle white with yellow flowers Anastasia pity to your nose vidish što stoji okolo čajnika what um so saffron soft sea foam balmy blue and highland heather thank you i must have milk in my tea Love it, milky. And we're going to be using the Painted Poppies stamp set. And this is one of my favorite tricks. When you know that you need more than one, and die cutting after stamping is great, but it also is a bit more fiddly because you have to have, you want to position the die perfectly. So what I've done is I've mounted the stamps onto my Stamparatus. Actually, I might just put the ink pads to the side for a moment. Morning Vicky. I've mounted my stamps onto the Stamparatus and I have stamped them onto some grid paper and then put a template of the exact die down and that means now I can simply place 
the die cut into the hole. Now, where are my leaves? Aha. And stamp, and they'll be perfectly stamped. So I'm using, what is, what's the ink pad I'm using? I'm using Memento Black, just because it's easier to clean than stays on ink, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. So just pressing that down and bingo. Perfectly stamped leaf and flower. Now sometimes if the floppiness, I'm holding it down with a magnet, if the floppiness of that, like that's very quite thin, what you can do is glue it down to your grid paper as well and that is another option but to me that's more permanent and I just wanted to keep it easy going so I'm going to stamp seven of each Mama, oh you hatched another egg well done sweetheart she is doing reading eggs this morning is it reading eggs or sound waves reading, reading eggs Oh, you're doing a quiz. Well done. Good morning, Margaret. And everybody, that's lovely, Margaret, saying hi to everybody and thank you for sharing. And for those who are just joining in, uh, I will be sending this card to someone in need. Uh, no, my school, our school is not closed, Megan, but my husband and I have made the decision to keep our kids at home for the time being. Um, it's not that we're panicking. Um, my husband does work in the health system, so I didn't want them to be accidentally bringing something, preventing him from working when they really needed stuff. And then it also works the other way around. I didn't want him to bring something home, accidentally passing it on to our children because they love hugs. And then that being spread into the community. So it's just a precautionary, we're just doing our bit keeping it at home. I, if you can, I strongly do advise to stay home and you can stamp. But as I was saying, uh, please nominate someone that you, we're all going through challenging times. I mean, it is an interesting time in the world, but we all have our challenges and some people have extra things happening in their lives that are making life that more bit more challenging and I if you feel comfortable with sharing the address with me afterwards uh, please nominate someone that you would oh good I'm glad to hear that your son is doing uni from home um, nominate someone just you know say it's a friend or you don't have to give their name so you're not spoiling their identity and or sharing their identity across the internet and just a quick thing so last Monday it's the Deb who whose card nomination won she said that hers she wanted to send it to her niece because her niece lost her mum who's Deb's sister so that's just a beautiful reason to send someone a card and um, it can be a congratulatory kind of thing as well or a bright in your day so just pop your nominations in we'll keep it open until tomorrow night which is Thursday the 19th and then I will let you know who the lucky recipient will be so we're up to the last one okay show me the eggs sweetheart oh lots of eggs lots of okay I, I get nervous every time you walk around with the iPad though sweetheart so could you please sit down last one so this is means that yes it would have been quicker to stamp and then die cut I will do all the stamping separately, but by doing all the die cutting first, it does save time because I'm not lining up the die each and every time for each flower and leaf and not stressing about the positioning. There, so that is the reason why I have done that. So I'm just going to give that a quick clean. I am now going to... Try not to touch your magnets together because they can smash. And I've just got a bit of masking tape on my magnets to help me lift them up. Putting the stamparatus to the side. And now, of course, we're going to colour. 
out flowers and I ummed and hard how we should best do this but I decided just to stamp the color on and we're going to stamp it in seven different colors so I'm just going to spread that out I thought keeping the leaves white was going to be fun and in that stamp set there's this fantastic stamp that kind of watercolors watercolors gives a watercolor wash look when you stamp it and I don't want them to be all exactly the same now this is sort of what's it called a oh my goodness a distinctive that's the word and I want it to be a bit more lighter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my block and spread the ink out so you could see there was a lot of concentration of ink on my ink pad right there and by pushing it I have moved the ink and someone on YouTube asked me when you do that do you need to move the ink back what I have found that the natural process of the ink pad sitting will bring the ink back into place and I have noticed that but if you wanted to you certainly can I'm just going to stamp that yep yeah. so that's perfect and I'm just going to stamp my flower so that was calypso coral just giving that a clean and I'm getting black onto it as well Ooh, my color swatches there we go better it's time to wash that chamois and the other stamp I was going to use is this splatter one so to give it a bit of depth so if, ah blocks why am I low on those blocks? Hmm. There we go. And the ink splatter stamps darker, which is that? Yep. Hello, Karen. I don't know if you've ever watched me live before, so welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am creating a rainbow poppy card in hope to brighten these interesting days and please feel free to nominate someone who you think could could use a brightening and I will send that card to them on your behalf so I'm just again moving the ink to get a bit of a softer and and again with the ink splat just for some texture and fun so that was blushing bride the first one was calypso coral and the next color is petal pink the petal pink sticker does fade for some reason but it is a darker color than that label suggests so there we go it's like an orangey pink which is really lovely and splatter might actually I think order wise that may go better next is so saffron your second time oh wonderful thank you Fran I'm glad that you have come back clearly you're enjoying my videos I enjoy making them this is so saffron just inking and stamping now I didn't move the ink on that one and you can see it's a bit darker and that's okay splatter and I am cleaning just off camera my stamps every color so that we're not mixing colors into our ink pads Ooh. this is soft sea foam which is a beautiful name I will move this one is quite a saturated ink pad because it's fairly new you can see that and very little ink is left on my block and it will go back and spread itself back evenly or you can push it back it doesn't really matter too much so giving that a clean we're almost there next up is balmy blue Morning, Joanne. So happy to see you. Orangey pink. Um, what was that? 
Well, the pink is actually orangey pink. Yes. So uh, the I'm assuming you're talking about the petal pink. It is an orangey pink. That is a really good description of it, uh, Joanne. So just moving that ink as well, just to get. I'm moving ink purely so that I can get a lighter covering, lighter coverage. So not not faulty. If you compare the pink, which I'll do in a second, to the paper, the cardstock. So I have this little ring of cardstock. One, two, three, this one. And if I bring up the pinks are towards it. There's Petal Pink, there's Blushing Bride. So Petal Pink is more of an orange color. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up with my lights. And you can see this is more of a pinky pink. And those are those two colors. So you can see, well down here it seems to be better. You can see that that is quite true to its color and that is quite true to its color there. So this is just a swatch that I've made for myself using the Pretty Label Punch and a Brother Label Maker because I like to be organized. Yes, that is exactly right, Karen. I am doing a rainbow, but a pastel -y, so not quite red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple or violet, but something close to. There's no pastel -y red per se. Um, so I still can't decide which, which order I should do for that or that, but that's okay. That's kind of the least of our worries is which order to do that in. I just, I, I really love rainbows and I just, I felt like something rainbowy for today. Now I haven't prepped a base or anything because I'm still indecided of what I wanted to do. Move that. We have these and then we have the white uh, flowers or uh, leaves because I just thought there was enough color there. And I was thinking to grab the Celebration DSP. What's it called? The Golden Honey Specialty DSP. So if you've ever participated in one of my paper shares, this is how I cut them. Cut the 12 by 12s in half, and you get a sheet of each. And then I label it and put it in a brown paper bag. So let's see, all these would be too much. Oh, it might be nice on the honeycomb background. What do we think? Just checking to see. Well, this one, will it stand out? No, I feel like it's too black. Yeah. Nope. Don't want to use the bees. Nope. Yes. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Grab the trimmer and let's trim that down. We'll do 10 centimeters by 14.35. Because I work down to half a millimeter. That is just me. If you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that. Because half an A4 sheet, well, an A4 sheet is 297 millimeters. And a seven does not divide evenly. Speaking of, oh, I should have ordered some more white paper. This is my. Last packet of Whisper White Thick. Let's see, or maybe I want to put it on black. Let's see. What do we think? Card front on the black. So give me a thumbs up for the black paper. Or a love heart 
for the white paper. What are we thinking? Because I can't decide. I've got a thumbs up. That's the black paper is thumbs up. And the white paper is love heart. I've got thumbs. I'm seeing thumbs, thumbs. What's that book on the Zaychik? It's thumb, thumb, finger, drum or hand, hand, thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll go with black because I saw a few likes there. Uh, thumbs up. I just need to add the score line in. Which is at ten and a half. And bring that down. Yes, black is the right decision. And add a line of glue. This is beautiful paper, so you can earn this paper for free during celebration. So it's only until the 31st of March. And I'd be quick because things are starting to run out. Now we're going to place our flowers down. I know there's too many of them. But if we squish them in. I feel like there should be an odd number. Can, can you guys hear the iPad? Here's a little song. <laughs> no. So this is just going to take a bit of time. I should have perhaps used the smaller flower, but I really like the big one. Hmm. I think it was good when I was... Oh, we can... So sometimes when it comes to card making, it's just a matter of playing with the organization and seeing what works. Ooh, I like this diagonal concept. What do we think? I'm seeing some thumbs up. I am going to keep it as so. And... I don't have any seal and press right now. Just thinking. I'm thinking. That's why I've stopped talking. I didn't want to ruin the order. So this is press and seal. You love that? Excellent. Thank you, Megan. So this is press and seal. It's available in Costco's in Australia. If that hasn't gone off the shelves. I'm just cutting so it's a like a glad wrap that's tacky on one side you can see it's stuck to my finger and oh thank you Vicky and what's useful for using it in card making is that I can now do this pick that up the flowers are remaining in the orientation and the positioning I chose and now I can add some glue. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of each flower. And then, now I've been careful to, not careful, but I'm trying to just use the glue on the centers of the flowers because that way we can tuck in the leaves behind. And oh, there we go, I can move it down. And that is. So much quicker than removing each one and tucking and whatnot behind. Yep. Let's just tuck some leaves in. I did do seven leaves. I'm not sure if we'll use all seven. 
go, 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 go. Great. I'm hearing from the iPad. The DSP sold out in Canada. There we go. I'm telling you, it's a lovely DSP, isn't it? And if you are interested in it, let me know and I can help you out with your order so that you can earn it for free while there's still stocks. As far as I saw in the updates as of last night, the only celebration item sold out here in Australia is the uh, card kit. You keep forgetting to use your press and seal. Uh, yeah, it's this is the biggest use for me of the press and seal is positioning. I think that's enough leaves. I like to try to keep things in odds because of, visually it's more pleasing to the eye. And no card is complete until we add an inside and decorate the envelope. So I brought out a Whisper White envelope and a Whisper White, which is cut to the same size as that DSP. And we'll add it right here. And we will add some stamping to it first. So I've grabbed that flower stamp again and I'm going to ink that up. Well, that's black paper, I suppose, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I've got ink there, which I don't like. So, uh, must have dropped the lid. There we go. There's that. And the envelope, which I will do a poppy up in the top left hand corner. But I close the ink before. But uh, speaking of universities, I know that, Megan, that was a conversation, but I have heard that a Sydney University is closing all face-to-face -face lectures as of Monday. So funny times we're living in, people. But please, please, please be safe. Please try not to go out unless you really need to. Don't touch your hands. Wash your hands. Sorry, I can't help it. I have to do a community announcement. <laughs> I want everyone to be safe and I know that some people think it's not a big deal but better to be safe than sorry but here we go so please do write in your nominations if you think someone could use this card to cheer them up and brighten their day add some color to their life and I will call out for that nomination by tomorrow night and we'll send that off Oh wow, that's massive, Megan. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you so much for joining me, spending time with me. I look forward to the next session, uh, Monday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, where we will be looking at another fun fold card. We'll be doing another trifold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Megan. My pleasure for sharing. Enjoy your day, everybody, your week. Stay safe and Bye for now.